All right, Shalom, brother Kabai back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. All right, before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone, for teaching us this truth according to the Bible. All right, and who rule well. Another Shalom, artist, and sit Icons, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with diligence and sincerity. All right. Um, this lesson I want to get into today was um gonna be on you know to you know our people need to be praying, man. You know, but what's coming down the pipeline here in America? You know, these so-called Negro Latinos in America need to be praying, man. Okay. Um. You know, pray without ceasing. Okay, because um we gonna need your help, Bashim Yamashad, in the days that are to come, man. The evil days to come. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to grab some precepts and hopefully brothers are edified. And the first precept I'm going to grab, I'm going to the book of Luke. Chapter 21. This is the book of Luke. Chapter 21, verse 36. It's written in red, so it's Lord Yahweh Shah speaking, man. Okay, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus, all right? It's uh, Luke 21, 36. Watch ye therefore. That's right. You're supposed to be watching constantly, you know, uh, um, measuring the times, okay? According to uh, Ezra 9 and 1, okay? Second Ezra 9 and 1. It's like here. It is uh it reads on watch ye therefore and pray always. That's right, you're supposed to pray always. You so-called Negro Latinos, Native Americans need to be continually without ceasing praying, man. Okay? Not like uh some of these other uh not some like some of these you know religions where they you know keep a tab on how many times you get on a carpet and pray. No man. You how about Shimi Al Shah said what? Pray always, man. Okay, it's Luke 21 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. That's right. Supposed to watch and pray, man, always so that you're able to escape the things that are coming here to America. Okay, and um, we're going to get some scriptures on what's coming to America and you know, just a bit. But I'm going to finish the scripture out. It says. That, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all the, all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. That's right. You want to be counted, accounted worthy, man, to escape all the chaos and hell and death and destruction that's going to go on here in America, man. Okay? So you need to be watching, keeping up with the news, the prophecies in the Bible. Okay, and constantly praying. You so called Negro Latinos, Native American. That's what you need to be doing. Okay, so you're able to be accounted worthy to escape all the uh, the death and destruction here, man. All right, next precept I'm going to grab, I'm going to Jeremiah, Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah 30 and 7. It reads, Alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. So the day to come, okay, there has not been a day like it. All right? And we can go into some of the, the uh, days that was very, very, um, you know, chaotic and, and, and dreadful. Okay, you had um, you know the, the the race riots in L.A. Okay, you had the famine. You know the Great Depression, Salakia here in America. Okay, back in the 1920s and 30s. Okay, you have um. You know all uh war World War One, World War Two. Okay, 
those were uh, some 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 crazy uh, horrific days man okay but Jeremiah is telling us what this is Jeremiah 30 and 7 alas for the day is great so that so that none is like it it is even the time of Jacob's trouble that's right so the time that's coming is Jacob's trouble and who is Jacob you so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans man okay it reads on, but he shall be saved out of it. And who's that that will be saved out of it? The ones that what? Watch and pray. Okay? The elect. The 144,000 men, and then the one third of men, women, and children who believe, man. Okay? That's who's going to escape Jacob's trouble. And you want to be a part of that. You so called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's what you want to be a part of. The part that gets saved out of Jacob's trouble. Okay? Now, let's grab some scriptures on what the Jacob's trouble is going to be like. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the book of 2nd Ezra. Uh, I'm going to start at uh, 15. I'm sorry, 15. And um, at the top, now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna jump down some. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people. That's right. That word "mine" is possessive. Okay, it's not talking about the whole world. It's talking about the children of Israel. All right. Once again, which consists of these so-called Negro, Latinos, Native Americans. You know, and I, I know I, I bring it out a lot, but it has to be repetitive, man. Okay. The second Ezra chapter 15 verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Okay? Now the word prophecy means to tell you before. You know? You know, we're, we're here to warn you so-called Negro Latinos, Native Americans, alright? Which I will put in, in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So we're here to speak prophecy to you, man. Alright? So that you're able to get yourselves right before all hell breaks loose. Okay. And, um, verse two, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. That's right. The words that you have by Shemiah Shad are faithful and true, man. Okay. And I'm gonna jump down to verse five. In Second Ezra fifteen and five, behold, saith the Lord, you have by Shemiah Shad, I will bring plagues upon the world. That's right. So the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai is bringing plagues, man. You know, and that's contrary to the uh, the pastors in your churches, because what are they telling you? The Lord's coming back with hugs and kisses, you know, uh, 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 you know, candy, Bugatti keys, you know, fresh J's, you know, um, all types of nonsense, man. Well, that's contrary to the scriptures. We we, we just read what the Lord's bringing. I'm reading again. Second Ezra 15 and 5. Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad, I will bring plagues upon the world. That's right. The sword. So the Lord is bringing a sword to you so called Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, man. And what's the sword? The modern day gun, okay? Or uh, any killer instrument, man. Okay? Something quick to take you bonehead, two thirds so called Negro, Latinos, Native Americans out of here, man. Okay, hey, look, it, it reads on the second Ezra 15 and 5. I will, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine. That's right, the Lord is bringing a famine, man. Not only a famine of the word, but a, 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 a famine of food, man. Okay, the Lord is gonna stop all these trucks going to these supermarkets, man, and restocking them, man. Okay. You got to depend on your how about Shimmy I was shot in that day, man. And that's it, man. Okay? So the Lord's gonna bring famine to America, man. It's gonna get bad out here, man. Nothing grows naturally here in America, man. Nothing. Nothing edible. <laughs> okay? Go outside your, your, your house right now, man. There's nothing you can actually pick up and eat that's nourishing to your body, man. Who you gonna put your trust in in that day? 
That's what the Lord is bringing, a famine, man. He's bringing the sword. He's bringing the famine. It reads on death and destruction. Come on, the Lord is bringing enough death and destruction to uh, two-thirds of you so-called Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Okay? And if you don't want to be a part of that death and destruction, that famine and the sword, hey, look, man, you need to, <laughs> need to be getting right, man. Okay? You need to be watching and you need to be praying, man. So you don't get caught up in these things, man. Because when the Lord's come back, it's going to be nothing nice, man. And that's just one scripture right there. All right? So with that, you know, I hope brothers are edified. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal, Kodash. Okay, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. For teaching us this truth according to the Bible. All right. Another shalom on the artists and said Akims, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.